We begin today with extremely sad news. Uh, I, I never thought I would have to say this. I never thought it would come to this. But the great Eric Swalwell has ended his campaign for president. Swalwell was our last hope. He was the only light left shining in the dark. He was the lighthouse on stormy shores guiding us home. And now that light is out and we are floating, drowning in the dark ocean. You know, I I remember only a few days ago, my my six-year-old son came up to me and we had a very real conversation. He said, Daddy, it feels like there's no hope in the world. It feels like we're all doomed, like we are just spinning chaotically through the void of space with no reason or purpose or, or destination in mind. And I looked at him and I said, I said, we do have hope. We have Swalwell. And he looked at me and he said, what is Swalwell? And I said, stop talking back. Go to your room. What am I supposed to say to him now that Swalwell has ended? Am I supposed to say to him, oh, never, never mind. You're right. There is no purpose in life. There is no hope. We are doomed. I, you know, Swalwell left a campaign that excited the nation, a campaign that at its zenith polled at 0.5%. How could you leave something like that when, 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 when so many people, literally, literally tens and tens of, of, of people wanted this man to be president, yet he still drops out. So I just want to begin uh, as a matter of respect with a moment of silence for Eric Swalwell and his campaign and also the future of the nation. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. Okay. You know, the interesting thing is that um, I think Eric Swalwell's audience, oftentimes when he would give speeches, his audience somehow, I think, sensed, they had a premonition. Uh, maybe his audience was as, was as sort of prophetic as Swalwell himself. They had a premonition that this moment would come because sometimes, as I think very respectfully, beautifully, they would give him moments of silence during his speeches. Uh, like maybe you remember this moment but I will always be real with you. I will be bold without the bold. My wife and I, we fight insurance companies. Uh, Bold without the bold, or bold without the bull. Bull without the bold. I'm not really sure what he said there, but it was was very profound. And to hear that moment of silence afterwards, uh, just immense respect for this man. Um who has unfortunately left us all to die. Okay, 